history in town is named for him as well as the high school. But he gets all those honors because he is essentially the founder of what became Chicago. Just a little more complete picture of that early Chicago history. Uh, we'll continue on now with the architecture because directly in front of us is a very unique glass office tower sitting on an impossibly small 39 foot base. This is 150 North Riverside. Now, the reason this tower sits on such a thin base has to do with where it's like. Her name is Jeannie Gant. She's a Chicago designer. And she does amazing things. I mean, take a look at this building. It kind of bends and curves, almost oh, yeah. like a series of hours on top of each other. Now, these curves are actually, in many ways, achieved by the staggering of the windows to line up the angles of the building. For the way those windows angle, some of them are going to absorb a lot of sunlight. So they chose different shades of blue glass to help reflect oh, that. Of course. Where we're located, we're on Lake Michigan and we're on the Chicago River. And this river is part of the waterway that connects the Great Lakes and the Gulf of Mexico. Now, it's not entirely a natural connection. They had to build a canal to the field. And so they did that in 1848. They built the Illinois Michigan Canal. And that connected the south branch of this river to our right side in just a second here. As you gaze up at it, you might notice the four glass blocks that is coming on the west side of the building. Here's the ledge. There are people in there. It's been part of the concert halls, convention space, bars, ballrooms, and of course, boat rides. One of the most prominent attractions at the pier is the Ferris wheel of the Centennial Wheel because it opened on the 100th anniversary of Navy Pier in 2016. This is a new model, the DW60, designed and constructed by Dutch Wheels, a Netherlands-based company that built the Pierce first wheel. Consider the world's top designer and manufacturer of Ferris wheels. The state of the art DW60 is the first and only one of its kind in the United States. Significant features include two sided enclosed cars that can be